Ben Fordham's 2 Gigabytes Breakfast Show has held on to its number one spot in the latest radio ratings survey. However, on Gus Whirlin's Not an Overnight Success podcast this week, Fordham, 45, revealed that he never wanted to take over Alan Jones' coveted role as host. Fordham said he felt he wasn't ready for it and went against his initial gut feeling, with his radio bosses Tom Malone and Greg Burns urging him to take up the gig. Fordham began by saying how he started second-guessing himself when Keys FM's The Kyle and Jackie O Show came out on top on one of the ratings surveys in 2021. I felt genuinely happy for them but it'd be lying if I didn't have those concerns, I did have those concerns, because you start second-guessing yourself and thinking, alright, well what if this isn't for me, maybe I'm not designed for this job, maybe I'm not up to it, maybe it was too much too soon. He recalled feeling a little bit angry considering he said to his bosses that he didn't want to do this job. I felt like I wasn't ready for it, I felt like ITD be better for someone else to go into bat after Don Bradman, rather than be the poor sucker who's sent in there in the pads and go on son do your best. Fordham said he followed the instinct of his bosses despite it going against his initial gut feeling. They explained to me that they wanted me to do it, and because I respect them I agreed but because that went against my initial gut feeling, I started getting a little bit angry when things were a challenge ratings wise, because I thought, hang on a moment, I didn't listen to my instinct, my instinct told me no. The third ratings survey of the year, released last month, revealed Fordham's 2 Gigabytes show is still number one across both AM and FM bandwidths, even after shedding listeners. Fordham recorded a 15.7% audience share, a decent number despite dropping 3.2 percentage points since the last survey. Kyle Sandilands and Jackie O. Henderson, who host the KIIS 106.5 breakfast show, gained 1.1 percentage points to finish at 12.4%. Fordham blamed the federal election for the decline in listenership, saying it was a turnoff for listeners who had grown tired of the news cycle. It was like watching two seagulls fighting over a hot chip, he told the Daily Telegraph last month. Jones, 81, who is Australia's most influential radio broadcaster, retired at the end of May 2020 after 35 years dominating the airwaves. He made the shock announcement to his 2 gigabytes listeners earlier that month, telling them he had been told by doctors it was becoming detrimental to his health. <laughs>